Good morning. We begin our news today with a report on the common problem faced by the newly arrival students in our IEC. Our reporter, Jorge, did this investigation. Students studying in IEC are migrants, refugees, and international students. My investigation found out that the majority of the students find it hard to understand the new Australian culture. About 20% find it hard to make friends. And about 10% feel homesick, poultry, reporting for 6-1 News. Facebook has become the most popular social networking in this modern era. Our reporter Kelly Huang looked at Facebook and its users. Facebook is a useful and popular social networking service. How does Facebook influence people's lives? And what's the range of Facebook use in Chester Hill IEC? For these questions, I have interviewed some IEC students. Do you have Facebook? Uh, yes. What do you use Facebook for? Uh, I use Facebook for connect with my friend. I can talk with them. Yes. What do you use it for? Um, I can talk to my friends. I can practice my English. 80% of them feel that it brings a lot of advantages to their life. For example, they can contact their friends, families, and they can also make more friends on Facebook. We should work together to create a better network environment, to make a civilized society. Kelly Huang reporting for Six One News. This year, the Chesil IEC holds its first ever Gardening and Talent Day. Our reporter Analata went along to enjoy the day and get some students' views. The Chesnahi IEC School has celebrated Gardening Day and Talent Quest on the 18th of May 2012. It was a very exciting day because it was not a normal school day. No books, no classes. The IEC looked more like a resort holiday now with beautiful garden that adds more beauty and inspiration for students and teachers. According to the head teacher, Mrs. Liao, the event was such a success that it will now have every year. I'm Anna Lutto of 61 reporting for Gardening and Talent Day. Thank you. Think of our IEC Gardening Day. Uh, I think it was a great day for all of us mm -hmm. and we can relax after a hard working week and our classmates we can unite it together. It seems like it was a wonderful day. Yes, indeed. Let's cross over to, now to our reporter from Madaba. On the 8th of June, 6 one class together with the international students from the Chester IEC went on an excursion to the ABC studio and to the IMAX theatre to watch a documentary on Egypt. All of the students who went said that they enjoyed this learning experience and would like to go on another one as soon. They were very excited to actually see what a TV studio looked like as well as the different costumes used in drama production. Cannibal reporting for 6-1 News. Media gadgets have undeniably impacted students' lives and their learning today. Kwok Nguyen investigated students in the school regarding this issue. Media gadgets have become a part of daily life. There are various types such as mobile phone, iPod, iPad, and other devices. Almost students use media gadgets for learning and listening, listening music. Through my research, about 95% students in the IEC using media gadget. Cook reporting Sick One News. Do you have many gadgets? Yeah, I have a lot of gadgets like my iPhone, my laptop, and a lot of things at home. What do you use this for? I use this for chatting with my friend, check Facebook, or go to some website. This year, the Chester Hill IEC performs for the first time in the Chester Hill High School flight day. Our reporter, Alice Wang, went along to enjoy the day and see why students always look forward to this special day. 
This year, Chest Hill High School celebrates its 50th Flag Day ceremony. 68 flags from different countries were represented. Again, it was another successful Flag Day with the IEC performing for the first time. According to some students involved, it was the first time they ever experienced such an event and they really enjoyed themselves. And it's one reporting for Flag Day. Refugee Day is commemorated every year. It is a special day for the IEC as some of our students are refugees themselves. I was there in Parramatta with some of the IEC students to celebrate this special day. I'm in Parramatta with our multicultural medley group to compete in the Refugee Day celebrations. I'm delighted to report that Chester Hill IEC came out the winners. Yes, the winners! I'm Kira reporting for Refugee Day. Back to you. The oratory contest has become a tradition for the Chester Hill IEC. This year, our IEC had its ninth oratory contest, a significant event in the school. Linda and initiated by our loved teacher, Mr. Saroka. The oratory contest is an important competition in the Cheshire IC. This oratory com uh, competition is held every term at the IC, and it is an opportunity for the students to showcase their skill in public speaking. According to Mrs. Liao, the head teacher of the Cheshire IC. Students work closely with their teachers to write their speech. It's another from Sexual News. The winner of the oratory contest and the best orator, Min Long Fan. Every Friday, students in the IEC have their sports in the first two periods. Here's a look at sports with Eugene Kim. Sports is a compulsory subject in IEC. And it is a competitive physical activity for students. Soccer, basketball, volleyball, football, AFL, and cricket are the sports played by students during the sports period on Friday. My survey has revealed that the most popular sport for boys in IEC is soccer, while girls like basketball. Do you like sports? Yes, we like. Which sports? Basketball. Basketball. Yeah, I like soccer. Thank you, Eugene. Reporting there from the basketball court. That's all we have time for. On behalf of our news crew, 6-1 class, we would like to wish all our leavers success in the future. And to all our students, enjoy the, your holiday and stay safe. I'm Kuro Tony Tala. And I'm Isan Nadir. Have a great day. Have a great day. I'm sorry. Time. Oh, he's nice. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Okay. Plus, reading news. See you next time. Have a good time. <laughs> for... okay. I'm Kuro Tony Tao. And I'm Isan Nadir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>